To solve the question we proposed in the previous video, we have to first introduce some notations. The first notation is a capital S, this vector with a superscript N. This is the random vector of the first n signals, or say the first n observations. And then we use a little s. This vector with a subscript n is a this is like the actual observation, and this is non-random. It is the, the actual uh, observations, the first and observations. All right. So then, uh, apparently, the first question uh, is asking. S superscript four. What is the probability of uh, all four uh, products uh, acceptable? This is like the first question is asking. The second question is asking, given the first three uh, products has this quality acceptable, unacceptable, and acceptable. What is the probability of at the third time, uh, the uh, production process is in the good state. All right. So, to compute the first type of probability, it's uh, it's very straightforward. We, we we simply compute the first type, which is uh, S n. Is little this Sn vector. We simply we can uh, decompose this probability using mutually exclusive uh, events, which is uh, the state space. For example, uh, either at state one or state two uh, at a time, and we can decompose it. It's essentially um, because. Uh, this event right here, we can uh, view it as a union of uh, J. And now, because uh, they are mutually exclusive, we can take the sum. And we denote uh, this term right here as a uh, uh, capital F sub n of j. As a result, uh, if we want to compute this probability, we simply find um, all these f sub n of j, and we just sum it up. Um, next one is uh, for type B questions, we are curious what is x sub n is j given the first n observation is uh, little s sub n. All right, this is uh, uh, for question B. And we're curious uh, to compute this. To compute this, uh, uh, we simply use uh, the definition of probability formula, and this is nothing but uh, this probability divided by the uh, observation probability, and if we use this f sub n of j to represent uh, this probability. It's then uh, 
the top one is nothing but uh, f sub n of j. I mean, the bottom one is actually the summation of uh, f sub uh, n of j uh, of j. And this, let's say, this j is in uh, is in our state space, but uh, we have used the letter s. Uh, let's just say j is in our state space. Okay. And then uh, this is a summation of to uh, avoid confusion. Let's change another subscript i. Uh, this is just uh, the summation of f sub n of i, and i is in our state space. The result, the question boils down to whether we can uh, compute uh, this quantity. And now it's computed. This probability, by definition, it is uh, the first n observation is a uh, little s n and uh, x sub n is in j. No, but now we can um, just uh, write explicitly what's this uh, s uh, capital N is, and it is uh, s1 to uh, s sub n. So we just write down uh, this vector explicitly. And then what happens is uh, this event right here is the same as the event. Uh, this observation is uh, little s sub n minus 1, which is s sub 1 to s sub n, and s capital S sub n, which is the nth observation, or say the observation at time n, this is s, sorry, this is n minus 1, and this is s sub n. And now we just continue. Uh, so we write down this explicitly. Uh, Now we can condition the previous step to compute uh, this quantity in a recursive manner. To see this, we apply, this is a condition on x sub m minus 1. What happens is uh, this is nothing but the summation of all the possible state of x uh, sub n minus 1. And uh, using the conditional probability formula we have, this is sum of i, and we condition on this as well as uh, this term. Conditional probability formula uh, we can have, we copy down, um, which is s sub n is a uh, little s sub n and the uh, x sub n is j given x sub n minus 1 is i and the first n minus 1 observation is this uh, little s n minus 1 vector times the probability of x sub n minus 1 is i and the first n minus 1 observation is s sub m minus 1. And keep this in mind, this probability right here would denoted earlier as uh, 
uh, this term right here. But this is for uh, time step n um, here. This is uh, f sub m minus 1. And the state, instead of a j, this is i. To further simplify this sum, um, we got to use some uh, independency. For example, this event right here, which is a first n minus 1 observation, is uh, independent with the nth observation is because um, the Sn equals uh, little s sub n, the nth observation only dependent on uh, what is uh, our uh, hidden Markov chain at uh, time n is in state like j or other states. And now what happens is uh, we can then simplify this further by this is capital S sub n equals little s sub n and this is xn equals j and we remove uh, this condition right here because first of all the hidden Markov chain the, the, the chain itself does not depend on the observations so this guy is independent with this guy. And also, uh, the past observations is independent of, with the current observation. So now we have this is only conditional x sub n minus 1 is i. And then we multiply with this f sub n minus 1. To further simplify this formula, uh, we've got to see a familiar friend in this equation. That is uh, this term which means we can further use a conditional probability. And this time, we condition on this xn equals j. And uh, we like to uh, move this into the condition. And what happens is, if we do that, we we'll extract the transition probability out. This is s uh, capital, capital S n equals little s n given xn is j, and xn minus 1 is i, times uh, this one-step transition probability. And lastly, we copy down uh, this term right here. Now, this term is our uh, Transition probability, I forgot to put an i here. And uh, um, now for the first term, we got to use the fact that um, the observation at n time n is independent with. Uh, previous time steps mark of chain state uh, states and as a result we can further reduce this to s sub n is in s little uh, little s sub n given x sub n is j and this term is our transition probability which is from i to j therefore we have P sub ij and if we look at um, this probability right here this probability is we define like using notation using little p of uh, sn given j and Pij f sub m minus 1 i. And now, because this sum is with respect to i, it has nothing to do with this term. This term is like a fixed constant. As a result, we can pull out this term. And we ended up with this uh, 
recursion formula. And this is a, we compute f sub n of j. Uh, as we can see, um, to compute uh, this term, which is at n step, um, we have an observation and also meanwhile x sub n is j and we need to know uh, all these uh, values for each state i uh, in previous time step. And we can start compute uh, on f1. So for example, um, this f sub n of j uh, we need to know like our first, uh, let's assume uh, at time 1, x1 being i is uh, this uh, little p of i. And what happens is then we can have when n equals 1, f sub 1 of i can be then computed by first is the definition. then this probability we can condition on uh, this x1. And this is nothing but p uh, sub i times p s1 i. And now then we can compute f2 sub i, etc. And uh, to apply these formulas, um, um, please refer to uh, example 4.45, which is uh, which is plug in numbers in these formulas to compute the question we propose uh, initially, which is uh, we're interested in given these observations, what is uh, uh, this probability? Uh, and uh, uh, what is uh, this probability, non-conditional probability of the first four items are all accepted? 